welcome back to elfin code so today we will be learning uh, all those components which are available in lang chain which will be helping us to create uh, a uh, use case for lang chain application so basically it is categorized under four different components so those components we will see in this video and this will be a kind of you know second theoretical video and uh, uh, next video onward we'll start doing the practical part of the lang chain and uh, and if you have yet not subscribed to this channel please uh, please go and subscribe this channel and also like the video and hit the notification button so let us start uh, with uh, the second theory part of this lang chain um, uh, playlist welcome back so in the last video uh, we have seen this particular diagram where we uh, uh, we found that this lang chain is nothing but a kind of you know system which is a kind of abstract view over all those different uh, llm model which are existing in the market with which uh, lang chain framework can easily connect and get the uh, output for your uh, prompt so you can build your own uh, use cases with the help of this lang chain framework so now in this video what we will try to do um we'll try to understand all various components which are available in this slang chain so basically these components are segregated into four different parts one is uh, prompt template the other one is llm itself uh, the third part is agent and the fourth part is memory okay now what exactly prompt uh, template is uh, um, i mean it basically provide a kind of you know language model to the llm so if you have any question to ask to let's say chat gpt you you are throwing some kind of you know string argument so those string argument can be formed as a template and then those template can be passed on to your LLM model so this prompt template will be helping you to dynamically design your prompt which which can further go to the LLM model to get the response out of those prompt uh, so that is what the prompt template is so we will be checking it with the help of this uh, example as well so here if you see uh, this prompt template so what we are trying to do what, what we are trying to say here is uh, you know uh, we are trying to create a prompt template so that uh, this prompt template can be used for any uh, any particular uh, you know um, any particular use cases uh, or any particular user can use this prompt template so here we are saying that suggest a name for uh, this argument here starting with this particular letter okay so now here what we can do we can pass uh, some of the argument to this object and to this letter okay so this will be passed as a uh, as a prompt uh, to, to this particular string so this is what the template is so the via this you can pass actually multiple object and multiple letter and then you can pass this entire statement to the LLM model to get some kind of response okay to the question which you are asking so this was uh, what the uh, prompt template tells now llm is nothing but a kind of you know um, uh, large large language model which you will be using with the help of this lang chain framework so it could be uh, your gpt3 or bloom or uh, um, i mean uh, lambda or any other uh, llm model which are existing uh, uh, existing and can have a support to connect uh, the La lang chain framework okay now the third part is agent now what this agent uh, tells that uh, i mean it it uh, it actually execute a set of action so uh, they i mean action could be anything i mean uh, let's suppose you have some action where uh, it tells that uh, i mean uh, uh, depending upon some prompt template it 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 should be going and uh, searching out some some uh, web uh, searching out some wikipedia or something and then there could be some action where it requires some kind of computation calculation and all those things so all these actions are being uh, um, you know executed with the help of this agent so agents are basically uh, uh, that kind of setup where it take it take case of all those action orders those action and then execute all those action which are being asked uh, asked to the uh, to the agent in sequential manner and thereafter it will be giving the response um, uh, response back okay now the fourth component is a memory component now what memory component does is like when you are uh, when you are you know uh, working on some kind of chat application so uh, the, uh, let's suppose i'm i'm chatting with uh, some other uh, some uh, some llm model so i might be typing something so my typing behavior need to be you know 
kept so that uh, i will get uh, on uh, i mean real time prompt to complete my sentence so that will come only when uh, the system has already understood my behavior of you know writing the sentences so memory will be used to capture all those previous chart which i have done okay so so that on the basis of that chat uh, he, it can derive the um, next word or next word in the sentence which i'm going to type so that is what uh, the use of uh, this memory component in the line chain and then we have already seen this uh, prompt template and then we can check this uh, small example uh, though we will be uh, having a practical uh, session i mean uh, coming in coming videos so this is a kind of you know second theory session and post this we'll be having all practical session uh, but just for the understanding i've taken a very small example okay here what we are trying to do we are trying to create an object which is connecting to the open ai the chat gpt the temperature parameter is nothing but the accuracy of the response you are getting so it is like it varies between zero to one zero being kind of very very accurate okay and uh, um, one uh, a, a one is kind of you know very random but very creative so you need to put somewhere uh, between five six seven so that you can you can get the response as a creative as well as uh, you know with some kind of accuracy so that's that's the temperature it tells and then uh, the open api key this open api key we will be seeing how we can create the op uh, i mean uh, this open ai key uh, with the help of our account in the uh, chat, chat gpt so we will see in the next session how we can open how we can actually generate the api key okay and then um, it is creating a prompt tem prompt template so uh, here if you see the input variable uh, being considered as a baby gender and baby country and uh, um, here they are looking out for some kind of response where the user will be giving the baby gender and where he born okay so depending upon those uh, i mean uh, our model uh, should be our use case model uh, will be uh, suggesting 10 uh, trendy name for the newborn baby okay so here i have taken two different parameter baby gender and baby country and here uh, the question which we are asking to our llm model is i'm blessed with baby this i want a trendy name for my newborn he belongs to country and this is a baby country suggest me 10 trendy name okay so this will be passed to the llm model which we have defined and then it will be getting the response from them and that response we will be there after uh, presenting into the uh, presenting into the uh, either ui or any kind of you know application where it is asking to get the response now here if you say it has made the llm chain where it tells that this is the model which i want to use this is the prompt template and this is the output key where i need to keep my um, responses okay and then this is the response which i'm trying to get with the help of uh, this name chain and here we have passed the prompt as uh, girl and india so this response will be um, having 10 different uh, trendy name for my baby okay so this is how the uh, application a very small application can be written okay but we will be seeing how we can create all this api key how we can execute it and all those things we will be checking in the upcoming uh, uh, videos but for now i hope you have understood uh, uh, i mean how we can start this lang chain application and what are uh, these four different uh, components so just for the revision we have four different components in uh, lang chain one is prompt template llm agent and memory prompt template is nothing but uh, when you want to send some kind of string to the llm model there you can uh, template it template it in the sense you can make it more uh, dynamic by by giving some kind of argument uh, now the llm is nothing but a kind of you know the uh, existing llm model which you want to use it it could be open ai it could be bloom or any lambda bart or any kind of uh, you know api which are available and have a um, um, have a have an access to lang chain and then agent is nothing but uh, it executes set of actions and 
action could be anything it could be reading the data from some specific uh, places like search like um, you know database or any kind of um, external sources and uh, it could be um, this the next action could be you know having some complex operation need to be performed and all those things so agent consolidate all those action and try to execute the action and uh, then uh, this memory component memory component is basically used to keep the track of all those conversation which are happening um, you know uh, when the user interact with the LLM model previous in all those previous sessions so it keep keep on tracking all those things so that it can provide some kind of prompt in upcoming chat uh, which a user will be doing with the LLM models okay so this this is what the revision of this four components and then we had seen how we can create a kind of prompt template here so it's quite simple I mean we just need to define uh, these parameters and these parameters can be passed as a parameter when we will be sending this uh, prompt template in the LLM chain which we have seen in this example so here we have created the template and then we created the LLM chain where we pass the LLM model which we have uh, initialized here and then we pass the prompt um, uh, template name okay and then this prompt template name is uh, being passed as a dictionary saying that baby gender is nothing but this is the value for the baby gender and uh, baby country's value is, value is this and then it will be connecting to this LLM model and will provide the response and what response response it will be providing what is there in in the template okay the question which you have asked in the template so this is what uh, the um, um, you know a small practical or a small understanding of how we are writing the um, uh, lang chain application and uh, these are various different uh, uh, various different you know uh, llm models which we, which we have at present so like uh, we have the gpt 3 the t.5 gpt4 part lambda bloom and all those things and these are the vendor which uh, those who have created all these different llm models okay so for now uh, we can wrap up this session and from next session we'll be doing more of practical okay so we'll see first how we can create the uh, api key uh, in the open ai and then we will be using those open ai key for writing a small um, you know test case using llm uh, thank you thank you for watching this video so next video onward we'll start doing the practical on this lang chain so please do uh, subscribe this channel to get the uh, update on upcoming videos on generative ai using lang chain thank you